Jermaine, talk about um, you know watching Jair go down with that injury, and then you guys having to step up after he goes down. Um, that injury that had me shook a little bit. You know, me and Jair, we've been through a lot, um, and we um, we fought a lot. We fought together, and we've been DBs for a very long time. So that was kind of um, heartbreaking right there, but. I mean, we, we, we have a lot of guys that, that can step up, and we, be, we we prepare for anything, so. What do you think of uh, Treshawn Smith coming in? Treshawn Smith, oh, he's a big-time guy. Um, he was a big-time prospect out of high school, and we knew he was going to um, be a big part of our defense this year. Because um, we all, we all as, a, as a defense, we all told the young guys, not just him, the other young guys that, um, you guys have to step up, earn defense, and be prepared. So we knew that was coming. It was a back and forth game. Your sack obviously played a, a big part in slowing down that offense there in the second half. Talk about that play a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, that sack was big. Um, we worked on that play a lot um, in practice. Um, it was big for us, and um, I mean, <laughs> you know, I'll pay it off. Yeah. Given your size, how do you hit that hard? <laughs> um, I mean, I got, I got, I got a dog in me. It's a dog in me. I, I don't give up. I'm not afraid to tackle. If I miss a tackle, it's, it's all right. I'm gonna get back up. I'm gonna still on same technique. I'm gonna try to get him down. Um, try to <laughs> just be a dog out there. What was Purdue doing effectively when they were moving the ball and passing the ball effectively? What was what was going right for them and wrong for you guys? Um. They was moving the ball pretty fast, and we had a couple times that we couldn't get lined up um, on time because um, they was moving the ball pretty fast. But I mean, we we kind of um, we kind of adjusted to it in the second half, and you know it was a dog fight, you know, and we just had it. We we came through with a victory. You cool. guys, you guys came out in those Tax Boys T-shirts. Um, how would you, how would you grade the your, the Tax Boys performance tonight? Um. Well. The Tats boys, we in full effect, man. You know, it, it, it's the first game, and, you know, we had two picks, but they had a lot of passing yards on us. We just got to um, keep our head in the game and play. We, we had sometimes we had players not really looking at their man and trying to just play the ball in the quarterbacks, reading the quarterback's eyes. But um, we gonna, you, you guys are going to see a lot of the Tats boys. There's going to be a lot of interceptions and um, takeaways. Jermaine, was there any panic or frustration on the sideline when you guys were down? Um, we tried not to panic. We we never try to panic because that's how things go wrong. We um, coach always tell us to um, stay as a team no matter what happens. If, if the offense turn the ball over or the defense gets scored on, we, it's the next play. So we, we just try to um, keep our heads in the game and finish strong, and that's what we did. Probably not a highlight reel game for you guys. A lot of penalties, a lot of fumbles, but a win. What do you take from that? Um, we first of all, a win is a win. We got the win, and everybody know that Louisville is a team that light light up the scoreboard and is known for a good defense. But um, we it's just week one, you know, a couple of errors, but we are gonna get back to what we do playing um, Louisville football. Stacy Thomas become an honorary member of the Tax Boys, and what do you, th you think of that pick? <laughs> Stacy is a Stacy is a Tax Boy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a DB thing, but Stacy is known for being athletic and being one of those guys who can play the ball real good and can run with his size and still being the inside and going to make tackles. So Stacy's a big time player. Very true. Appreciate it. Thank you.